Stephen Eskenazi, thanks so much for joining us. We're here up at Merchant Taylors today. Stephen, I sat in an uh, ED&I committee meeting on Monday and you joined the group and you volunteered your services. Can you explain why you've done that? Yeah, absolutely. I met Ankit, who's the co-chair of the EDI committee at a club day a couple of weeks ago and we started chatting a little bit about what the club's doing in this area and what the committee is going to be looking to try and do over the next couple of months. Uh, I thought it was fantastic and I thought as players we had a collective responsibility to really take a hold of that and start the communication between professional staff um, and filter that through the club. I know you've been working very closely with some senior leadership uh, members of the team. Um, explain exactly what you're up to in that dressing room. I know there's something of a cultural shift going on. Yeah, I think first and foremost, the conversations have been fantastic between the group. Um, I think if you asked us 18 months ago, if we were a really inclusive environment, we would have said absolutely, but we've really been challenging each other and we've been challenged from outside on some of the things that we do as a group and as a squad and, and we've been having some great conversations around dressing room culture and trying to make sure that if anybody was to join the Middlesex family in our dressing room that they feel welcome and safe. One thing I know you've looked very closely at is the club song which is obviously sung in the dressing room after every victory. Uh, what have you done in that respect? Yeah, I think firstly, look, obviously we are custodians of, of the club in terms of taking the cricket forward and winning games of cricket but we see this as a great opportunity to try and change um, a lot of other things in the club and try and be you know a bit of a marker in the ground for making this club you know the special family place that we know it can be so when it came to the song we just addressed a couple of lines in there that we thought maybe were a little bit outdated um, and maybe would have made some people feel uncomfortable um, and we've just shifted those slightly so that if anyone was to come in as I said for many any group throughout our society particularly in London they'd feel comfortable singing that after a win because it is a fantastic song. Outstanding. I know another area you've addressed is alcohol in the dressing room. Obviously, it it's kind of goes hand in hand really with a victory. You grab a cold one. What are the thoughts on that within the group? Yeah, the microscope's been on dressing room culture. I don't think just in cricket over the last six months. And, and we discussed that we think it's probably the right time for us to shift with the times there too. I mean, a lot of guys in the dressing room do enjoy having a drink with friends after a win, but we understand that there are a lot of players who might not enjoy that. So we're just trying to make small shifts there to make sure that if that is something you'd wish to partake in, that you can go and do that in an environment where you feel safe. And if you don't, you feel like there's options and availability for you to feel comfortable not doing that too. Obviously, you've got Shaheen Shah Afridi joining the playing group this year. Uh, that'll be something special. We're we hoping that we can turn some corners and, and get that new culture put in place before Shaheen arrives. Yeah, absolutely. I would say, you know, we're well and truly on the way there at the moment. I don't think it's ever going to be a full stop end of conversation. It's going to be something that as new people join the squad and as new conversations start, it continues to evolve, which I think is fantastic. Um, having players like Shaheen come in is incredible for the group on and off the field. Um, and as we said, we are representative of one of the most diverse places in the world in North and Northwest London. So we're hugely excited about the opportunity of, of opening up the game and making sure that if anybody comes to watch Middlesex play on a Thursday night, you know, they feel like that can be a, a career path for them and something that excites them too. Steve, you look, thanks so much for joining us. Sounds like there's an awful lot going on in the dressing room. Thanks for giving us your time. Anytime, always. No